Today, I want to show you the best no-code tool in 2025. And it's not another AI development tool that turns your prompt into a shitty application. This is a real professional no-code application builder. So let's take a look at that together because I think it is really the best that I've ever seen. It's called Nordcraft. Now, here's the big pro about it. It's actually open source. They have their own GitHub. You can self-host it. You can look into the code that actually powers the whole builder and the whole runtime, the whole structure that your application will be built in. Now, it's Apache 2.0 as an open source license, meaning you can self-host it, and you're not vendor locked in. If they increase their pricing, if they do something that you don't like, you can take your project, you can self-host it on Cloudflare, on Vercel, even on localhost if you want. And you can run this on your own computer and you can own your whole infrastructure if you want to. And you can still use their visual editor to build your application while still self-hosting this. So it's not like Webflow where you, you, know, you can't use the editor if you self-host and certain things won't work. Everything that you build inside of here will work in your self-hosted version besides formula caching and certain things that depend on hosting with them. But all features that your application will require will be able to be self-hosted. So that's the beautiful thing. And it's a web development engine, meaning it is essentially a new world word for having a no-code tool. But they do have some pretty cool things like branching, meaning you can create iterations of your application without messing up production. You have server set rendering, meaning it is an SEO powerhouse and you have version control. You can use components. Everything is nicely organized. You're not building things on a page level with thousands of variables in there. And it's pretty cool. You can self-host it. It's open source. It's on GitHub. Let's take a look at this. Um, it's really powerful. And as you can see from you know some of their preview, it will more than likely remind you of the web flows, the framers, the even the WordPress Elementor site builders. It really has that same sandwich design. You have your data panel on the right, you have your elements on the left, in the middle you get a preview that also renders live code so you can preview your code changes into it, making it really powerful, right? You have your resizable canvas, a little bit like Figma, you can even zoom into it. You have your logic and you have your HTML here. Now, there are actually some pretty cool applications that have been built into it. Uh, Someone just built like a drum machine. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, it's pretty cool what you can build in it. Um, and it, it lets you do those extensive logic things inside of this visual interface. Now, the whole thing that blows my mind is that Nordcraft itself is built using Nordcraft. So this whole editor, the whole interface of you building your application this whole thing here that houses my own application is built in Nordcraft. If I inspect the elements, you see that Nordcraft is built inside of Nordcraft. Like, this is amazing. I think this is really remarkable that they have built this whole editor, this whole thing that you use to build your own application inside of Nordcraft. Like, this is amazing. Like, you know, Nordcraft is built in Nordcraft. What no code tool can say that they are built in their own tool? I assume when they edit, it's an infinite loop of the screen in the screen in the screen in the screen. But that is very remarkable. Also, I built my own SaaS in Nordcraft. So I'm not just hyping this up and saying it's the future or something. It's actually the future. And I actually believe in it. Um, I built my own tool, my own no code mobile app builder that is also on the showcase here, Despia, inside of Nordcraft. And I build it without the need of writing custom code. I mean, there is some custom code into it, of course, um, to extend the functionalities, but I do not have to write custom code, but I always have the ability to extend it, where most no-code tools like Bubble do not let you write custom code. You will have to install the Toolbox plugin to write custom code that is very limited, or you would have to build your own custom plugin. You can't just go in there and write custom code. And then on the other side, tools like WeWeb, you have to always write their custom formulas, which is basically custom JavaScript code. 
and custom JavaScript code in addition on every little piece. There is no visual way to build those formulas. So what I think Nordcraft really did, it, it looked at WeWeb and it said, okay, they have lots of inline custom code, same as WIST. And it looked at Bubble and said, there's no custom code. We must be doing something in the middle. There has to be something in between WeWeb and Bubble that is still usable for very extensive applications, right? I think they've done a very great job at building this. If you take a look at the tool that I built in Nordcraft, it's essentially a tool to build mobile applications. I can go in here, I can go to my mobile application. Um, I have multiple projects that I can go, right? I can open the project. I have my settings. I can configure things. I got a code editor here for building plugins, building shortcuts. I can one click publish the application to the app store. That whole thing has been built inside of Nordcraft, which is very powerful. And you can see it in the editor right here. Um, and we use components. We can do proxy routes. We can do lots of things, lots of components. Uh, we have some custom JavaScript code here to make data fast work, um, to detect clicks outside of elements. You can really extend the functionality. I have an intercom uh, custom action in here. Now, the beautiful thing about those custom actions that I think is really um, different compared to all the other tools out there is when I write custom code, it turns it into a block. So let's actually go here and let's go to the builder. If I take a look at the custom code here on load, you will see that I have this block that is like a Lego block that looks like a native integration. But this is actually some custom code that I wrote turned into this Lego reusable plug and play block with events and, you know, steps inside of it, which makes it really cool when you're trying to push the limits of what's possible. I found thanks to this architecture where they write you, let you write code, but turn it within the editor without having to go through the publishing process, building your own packages and also sharing them with the community. They made it really nice in extending the functionalities when the tool does not yet allow you to do certain things. I personally have been using it to build Despia, which I think is a very complex application. And I have not found anything, any limitation that I had and any feature that I wanted to build that I could not build in Nordcraft. Everything that I wanted to build, I had no issues implementing it inside of it. And I can say this about most no code tools out there. So it's really remarkable. It follows the basics of HTML. If I take a look, I have my span elements, I have my attributes. I can build components, I can get properties in those components. Um, it really kind of like is inspired based on how react works with the runtime properties that you have in react. It combines the best principles of web development into a visual interface, I can open my component, right? And I can, you know, style it, I can really make those reusable, I can do remarkable stuff in it. Um, I can emit events and all those kinds of things. Pretty cool. Um, and it uses web components to actually power that with custom events and signals. And the most important thing, server side rendering, meaning you can do great SEO things um, that, you know, WeWeb could not do. And uh, you can also avoid, avoid like Webflow CMS or WeWeb collection limits with it, which is really cool. Um, and it's also very performant. Um, if you structure your application right, it will get a very nice 99 to 100 Lighthouse score. So that is something that's really cool. Now. Most of the people are now saying, okay, I got lovable, I got cursor, why don't I just vibe code things? I found that actually most of the times it's easier building the application in Nordcraft than just vibe coding it. Also, you get more control. Let me just walk you through the canvas a little bit. Let's build a weather application. So I can just take a diff block here and it's really like Webflow. Let's make it 25 rem by 25 rem. I get very nice visual controls to, to style things the way I want. So let's make it a uh, gray 100. And let's give it a border of one rem. And let's give it a border color of two pixels. And let's make that gray 200. I'm moving pretty fast. And I'm, I'm really liking the way how you can build and build logic inside of one interface, you don't have to work on different layers. So let's do one rem by one rem inside of here. Perfect. And maybe we'll make this uh, fit content. Okay. Now, instead of here, I can just add a heading 
And let's have that heading say the weather. So let's connect with an API. So I can just add an API. They already have a weather API if you ever need that. And I'm pulling the weather information. There you go. So I have the weather API. Now, how do I link this dynamic API data to the text? Now, this is where most no-code tools make it very complicated. You would have to use some JavaScript to find some functions, or you would have to create certain workflows. Notcraft really lets you put those things in one place without having to go th like through 50 different tabs to get to the thing that you want to set up. It's a re really nice experience. Uh, it almost feels like Webflow CMS. If you know Webflow, you know what I'm talking about, but with way more possibilities to use third-party data sources to build real applications, log in with Google, server-side redirects, all those kinds of things. So I will just go on the text, go on FX, and map this with the API data. So I go to data, and let's take current, and let's do temperature. That'll give me the temperature. Look at that. So I have the temperature inside of here. I can uh, see if I can get the... Um, the value of the temperature. Let's go to current. Uh, feels like clouds, visibility, weather. Um, let's see. Oh, we don't have like degrees, the type. Let's see. No. So let's just take this inside of here and let's do like a little text manipulation where I will just do uh, 15 and then I will do the uh, weather and I will go to data and I will go to location and I will go to city. So I will get the data dynamically pulled inside of here. But I can do even cooler stuff. I can add a dynamic image inside of here. So let's add an image. Perfect. And let's go to the image, to the source of the image. And as you can see, it's really nice because the way they structure it, it follows the web principle. So AI will be like, if AI gives you code, it's very easy to translate it in what you're building in Nordcraft, right? So let's go to the weather API. Let's go to data. And I think we get this on current. And I think somewhere in here will be an image. I think it's under icons, medium. And as you can see, we are getting uh, an image, which I don't think <laughs> is working right now. Let's try opening that image. Oh, I should probably remove the quotes around it. Oh, it's actually gray. It's probably hard to see. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see somewhat of the image. Now now I see it. <laughs> Let, let's actually change then the color of this widget. And uh, let's make it dark actually, so we can see the image. Or actually, let's go on this image here and let's add an invert filter. Now we can just add any custom CSS property. So we can add filter invert hundred percent. There you go. CSS pros will love this. So now I can make it two rem or let's do three rem by three rem. And as you can see, I got this symbol, this weather symbol inside of here. And now I can adjust the layout. I can make it go into a row, center it, uh, give it a one rem. I want this to be the first one. I go back to attributes and let's call this icon. There you go. I now build a very simple weather application, as you can see inside of here, that loads the data. It's pretty cool um, what it lets me build and is just, of course, a simple example. But I really like the way you have the simple data mapping. You can, of course, build more extensive workflows, call APIs, run custom code into it. But it really feels like the first no-code tool that I've ever used, and I've been doing this for many years, where I feel that I can build anything. And I've pretty much built anything inside of it. I built another no-code mobile app builder inside of my no-code web application builder. So it's pretty, pretty extensive. And the beautiful thing that I really like about it is they have a great community, meaning you can go to packages and you get all those amazing packages for custom functionalities without having to pay for them. It's not like Bubble where you pay $15 a month to add two numbers together. All of the packages inside of here, they're open source. You can update them if they do an update, giving you free updates on those packages, which is really nice and you get access to all those extensive things for free. And it's opened up to the community, meaning you and I, we can all build packages for each other and support each other in building better, more remarkable applications. Not like WeWeb where it's closed, only they can build packages. 
or like Bubble, where everybody is monetizing off each other in packages. Narcraft opened this up, everybody can build packages and everybody can use them for free because of its open source nature, making it really nice. Nobody's trying to gatekeep secrets and sell them to you for an absolutely ridiculous monthly fee like it happens with Bubble. It's almost extortion over there. So in Norcraft, you have it open up. You can use all of them that you see inside of here for free. You can create your own ones, share them with the community. It's a beautiful feature and you, you see you got dozens of packages and you got amazing stuff from pre-made super base connections, pre-built Xano connections, haptic feedback, um, PDF readers, all those things. If you take all those packages together, it would be at least like three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars a month and fees that you would pay in bubble to access all those packages because they're really ridiculously priced. You get access to all of them for free, as many as you want. Even UI libraries, look at that stuff. Like you got pre-built UI libraries um, available here. Really cool stuff that you can build inside of it. And uh, really remarkable. And if you don't have a package, you can always build your own custom code actions and use them within your project. They also have a very nice AI assistant that can help you with your questions that is free to use. So really cool stuff. I would highly suggest you to try Nordcraft. It is definitely um, a, a very well equipped web development tool. And I think it's the best one out there. And I've been using all of them. I've tried WeWeb. I've tried Wist. I've tried React. Lovable recently. I think that is a complete nightmare. Um, cursor, which I also don't think very highly of because most people are just using it without the proper education and without the proper skills. Um, it's like giving a baby, uh, like putting a baby in the car and letting it drive. It doesn't end well. It can't even reach the steering wheel to even start it. So I think if you're a visual person, if you're a designer, if you are someone building websites and you want to level up to building web applications, I think the best tool that you can use is Nordcraft. It's the only good one out there. They will not extort you for ridiculous plugin fees. And it's very well priced. You pay for the workspace, not per project, meaning you can have a hundred side projects like every developer and they can all fail and your invoice will still be $29 a month and they all can have custom domains. So it's great for indie hackers. I don't know why anybody would be using any other tool. I will stay with Nordcraft. I could not imagine anything better out there. And if you want to learn more about Nordcraft, make sure to just subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you're already building in Nordcraft and you're considering getting some help, maybe you feel it's stuck because there's a little bit of a learning curve because you're working within the fundamentals of web development. Uh, before you consider outsourcing your work and hiring someone to do it for you, take a look at nocodeproco.com. That is my community slash coaching program where I will personally help you on a daily basis, get unstuck in your application, implement things together with you, go around roadblocks, solve all your problems that you have in our daily Zoom meetings. And the next office hours are always just a few hours away from the time you sign up. You can sign up instantly right now and benefit from our daily office hours. I would love to see you in there and I would love to help you build your application and it's very affordable for $129 a month. You can get daily access to the office hours. Imagine how much you would be paying if you would outsource the whole project and hire someone else. You would pay thousands of dollars plus you wouldn't learn. So this gives you the ability to do it yourself, learn from it and save lots of money. So if you're ready for that, take a look at nocodeproco.com. That may be the next big step towards the right direction for you. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see all the exciting applications that you will be building using Nordcraft, in my opinion, the best no-code app builder out there. Take care.